Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Alcaptonuria is an autosomal recessive disorder that is associated with the production of brown, sweet and dark brown urine. In a certain population approximately 1 out of 90,000 people are affected. What is the approximate carrier frequency for this condition? And here is the answers to choose from. As usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. In order to solve this problem everything we have to know is Hardy-Weinberg formula and in this formula F stands for the frequency of the three genotypes that can be made by two uh, alleles. So it equal to P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared and all this equals to 1. So P squared in this formula stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2 P Q stands for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the uh, frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype. So if we add frequencies of all three genotypes this would equal to 1 or to 100% because 1 here equals to 100%. And of course all the alleles P in this formula plus all the alleles Q would equal to 1 because as you see these three genotypes are made by only two alleles dominant allele A and recessive allele A. So we put dominant allele A here and recessive allele A here. So we know from our problem that 1 out of 90,000 people are affected. That means that 1 out of 90,000 people belongs to this genotype and phenotype because uh, here genotypes equal phenotype. And um, how we find number Q if we are given Q squared we just have to take a square root of this number. So Q would equal a square root taken out of the Q squared. So Q would equal uh, 1 out of 300. This is going to be frequency of the uh, Q or recessive allele and uh, if we divide 1 by 300 we can get decimal number which would equal to 0 0.0033 I am rounding numbers so let's put this frequency here 0 0.0033 and if we know uh, number Q we can find P it is very easy because P plus Q equal to 1, so we can put 1 here also. And in order to find P, frequency of the allele P, uh, we have to subtract from 1 this number. And as you see, frequency of the allele P would be 0 0.9967. So we have to add these two numbers and we are going to get 1 or 100 percent. So uh, we now know the frequency of the uh, dominant allele P and uh, this equals to uh, allele A and uh, recessive allele Q which equals to uh, small a. Now we can use this part of the formula uh, in order to find uh, how many uh, carriers in this um, population. So our question is what is the appro approximate carrier frequency for this uh, condition in this population. And as you see uh, for heterozygous genotype in our formula stands 2PQ. So this is heterozygous genotype and we have to multiply 2 by number Q, uh, by number P, which is here, that is 0 
9967 and by number Q which is mm, 0 0.0033 and the answer here would be 0 0.0066 but as you see there is no such answer here uh, we need one last step we have to divide 1 by uh, this number 0 0.0066 Six, and uh, the answer would be 151 and uh, as you see uh, the best approximation would be answer B and we choose this answer our answer is not exact because uh, we used um, in all our calculations rounded numbers so uh, small uh, deviation can be from the number given is here and also please pay attention to the question what is the approximate carrier frequency for this condition because this is not exact number when we work with large populations with frequencies all the numbers that we are getting this is just approximation so this uh, answer is very close to this answer so uh, this is going to be our answer today and of course, uh, you can find now frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype uh, and uh, here is the frequency of the heterozygous genotype is 1 out of 150. Uh, let's put 150. So, uh, we just have to add this number to this number and subtract from 1 and this is how we can find um, uh, homozygous dominant genotype or we can just have to uh, multiply this number by itself so we are going to get p squared and this is also going to be frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype so now you know how to solve uh, such problems i hope if you would find such problem on your exam uh, you would be able easily to solve it this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.